What you are willing to do is stop the humanization of Israeli victims they don't require uh, in a order to, to... Yeah, but the intent matters. Wait, 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 no, wait, but wait, your wait, humanist wait, is not conditioned wait, wait, on being kidnapped, Wick. That's a silly wait. thing to say, is if they require the posters to be humanized. They, they then absolutely one, do. The, a lot of the things that people are calling war crimes are actually not actually war crimes. Um, they're just things that Israel did that are mean. Something that I've noticed over the past couple of days... Um, with President Sunday's incessant tweeting at people who he despises, uh, is that, like, especially with Destiny, he's castigating Destiny for learning about the... for learning about the conflict, not in Sunday's perspective, right? Like, when people tell you to educate yourself on the Palestinian conflict, they're not saying read just like the facts as they are they're saying hey um you need to learn about the palestinian plight and that's it they don't they don't want you to look at the uh you know uh they don't want you to look at the initial what was the was the first war that they had the six day war where they invaded all at on like the independence declaration of uh of Israel, they want to. They want to do everything after that. They want to look at everything after they tried to destroy Israel like three times. But if you like, where's the um? I tried to pay attention to, but couldn't pay attention to, um, a uh, Destiny debate that was posted yesterday. Maybe let me see here. Yeah, I tried to pay attention. A sea to of this. people. Jesus Christ, that's loud. Holy shit. But Destiny, for the first, because I guess I got to around 30 minutes in this, for the first 30 minutes, Destiny is asking him one question. Why did the Nakba happen? Why did Israel kick out all those Palestinians, like 700,000 Palestinians, right? And the guy will never answer. Wait, 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 hold on. I understand. Hold on. Hold on. I just want to be super clear. Okay. Um, I haven't even taken a hard stance. I'm obviously I'm leaning in one direction. I haven't taken a hard stance one way or another yet. Okay. I'm just saying that my issue is I notice that when people speak about this conflict, a lot of stuff will be brought up, but people choose the stopping point of history in a very peculiar way. For instance, saying that, um, Arab Palestinian hostility has been fostered by the Israeli state since the ethnic cleansing of 48 ignores what precipitated the ethnic cleansing of 48, which was the Brits exactly leaving what I said. all Holy the shit. Arab Maybe I subliminally saying, copy that that's take. That's the only reason why all my takes come live, from right? destiny, guys. Okay, but I understand why that's... Israel fought war after war after war to establish their right to exist. That's the only reason why they have a place to live, right? Not what I'm looking exactly for. Exactly this thing, right? So... Call that ethnic... 39, uh, yep. Right, but Theodore Herzl said, I don't think... Plan Dalit kind of, come after what? What came? What came before Plan Dalit? What came Plan before? Dalit he's was not he's trying to get this guy to say, "Hey, yeah, the Arabs attacked the Israelis." But listen to how this guy weasels around, literally, even in acknowledging that they invaded. For instance, you keep bringing up the eight hundred thousand Arab Palestinians that were expelled um, in forty eight, right? Which I think is closer to seven hundred thousand. But regardless, um, for those people that were well, yeah. yeah, for those people that were expelled, why were they expelled in in uh, in forty eight? Why were the Arabs expelled? Yeah. Well, I mean, so the majority were war, war refugees. A large minority were physically removed. There was a plan called Plan Dalet. I'm aware. Which mm -hmm. authorized now. now the, but the, why did the, Plan the Dalet kind of, come after? Mm -hmm. What did what came what came before Plan Dalet? What came Plan before? Dalet was not Plan Dalet the invasion was not of Israel. A response to Arab policy against indigenous Jews. It was a response to it was a security measure essentially. Yep. But a security and measure for what? Why did they need a security measure though? Well, because they're at war. They're yeah. at war. Correct. Okay. And they also mm -hmm. had an ideological, they had an ideological vision. Well, of... well let's just gl like completely gloss over the fact that like how many nations, was it like 10 war or 10, 10 countries declared war at the same time? Belligerents. One, two, three, four, five, six, six countries. <laughs> six countries. Versus Israel. Seven countries against Israel. All right. Seven countries against Israel. 
But let's just completely gloss over that fact because we need to specifically only talk about the Palestinian, like, plight of the Palestinian people. Like, yeah, obviously, that's a really bad thing. What ha- has happened to the, like, average Palestinian as a result of all of this shit is really, really bad. And it's mostly at the hands of the Israelis. No argument from me there, but where I have an issue is, and, and I got into this huge fight with my, my older brother on my birthday because there's, there's no event that I can go to because I, I am the politics guy to everybody. There's nowhere that I can go to that people don't try to pull me into conversations about politics. I get into this huge fight with my older brother about the Israel-Palestine conflict over time. And for how little people think about this every day in their lives, people are ultra, ultra, ultra invested in the, uh, in the Palestinian side. Like my brother, I, I always think of him as like a um, smarter but less red Hassan, right? Like my older brother is, he's like a, you know, he was a, a frat guy in college, you know, he's, a he's a very good, you know, um, he, he has a political mind, right. But he reads headlines and he'll watch videos, I guess, um, from specific people. I don't know who, but holy shit, the, the emotional investment in this stuff completely, completely clouds. Like, I want to say like, 80 to 90% of people's ability to actually look at what's going on, right? Like, I don't have any emotional investment in Israel. I don't have any emotional investment to the Palestinians, right? I can look at it. I can make a judgment call for what I think is right or wrong, right? I think that the way that the Israelis have treated the Palestinians is pretty abhorrent. But I also think, hey, guys, guess what? (coughs) I also think that the the shit that's happened to Israel and to Jews in the Middle East is really f- wrong too, right? This is a back and forth where like no one's hands are clean. No one's hands are clean. And for for everyone to automatically just say Israel is the bad guy in this just completely misses who who like starts the fights, who um like why like no one everyone wants to look at the reasons why um palestinians and other arabs have become radicalized against israel no one wants to look at the reasons why israelis are radicalized against the uh against the arabs against muslims against you know anyone that has been a a, a threat to them in the past nobody does it, it's the it's the craziest shit in the entire world to me yo how's it going justin you you been, you still been kicking it over there on kick? Oh shit! Oh shit! I, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know why I did that. Okay, there we go. Salam Fahid, a plan for peace. Um, okay, so why don't you talk about that? So why don't you talk about that? More like, often. Like, we talk about research and things like that? I'm I'm doing a lot of research on so, this. So so why don't you host panels like that? What do you mean? What do like you a mean? research panel? I expect the people to come to be researched, and if they don't, that's on them. So, so, so but I think instead, it would be a really okay, weird wait, panel. Wait, wait, wait. So instead, panel research so instead, team. so instead, the last panel, right? And you can correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm, is the last panel you hosted anti-Semitism on the left? Yeah. Okay. And for the what, majority, what did I do the day before and, that? And on the majority, what did I do the day before? No, no. What did I do the day before that? I do not I remember. What is the topic? You came on. What is the topic? Lunarbox was there. Me and Lunarbox had a okay. real good talk about all okay, this. Okay, I didn't know if you guys did a panel in between that. Okay, so that's why I was asking. Oh for no, we didn't do another panel. No, I, I don't always do panels, right? Sometimes I just bring people on and talk to them. To be fair, in a food shop, she streams. This like is eight a, hours this a day. This is a clarification. Kind of this is a clarification question. Okay, I'm not attacking you here. All right. Okay. Yeah. okay. For that one. For that one. Okay, fair. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what you guys have specifically talked about for the majority of the time. Okay, I don't know that. Oh my god, this right? is cringe. Handle, okay, handle okay, 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 okay. DMs. Okay. There was a topic being talking. Like, yeah, yeah go okay. DM, go DM with nobody gives a shit. I'm, I'm, uh, I, very quickly, I, I'm a little bit perplexed by the notion that one can't, for example, take down posters that have a clear propaganda purpose without being anti Semitic. Could it not be the case they're simply targeting the propaganda itself and they don't have. I think that propaganda posters, sure. 
posters of people who are like literally kidnapped. Like if it's a if it's a poster that's like calling for the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians, I 100% like agree. Like I don't really care if people want to tear that down, right? I I do not care. But if he's talking about all of the videos going around of people tearing down posters of the people kidnapped by Hamas, I'm sorry, extra cringe, unbelievably cringe. It is actually on, on like, depending on why they're doing it, right, could be explicitly anti-Semitic or implicitly anti-Semitic, depending on who they are. Or why, what their reasons are, you know? What are we watching? Uh, food shops coverage of this panel that she was on. What is this? Yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with these. I, I have no, no problem with putting up the faces of people who were kidnapped by a terrorist organization. At all. They can't reach those? True. <laughs> True. They surely can't. But like, yeah, it's just so f crazy to me. That people want to like sit there and justify pretty, pretty abhorrent behavior. I'm sorry. If you think that like the people who were kidnapped by Hamas deserve to, you know, deserve to have been kidnapped by Hamas or that there's like any justification for taking civilian hostages as human shields for, you know, whatever reason you want to put out there you're absolutely justifying the actions in totality of hamas you're justifying it have any animus towards you yeah if it's idf advertisement posters that's fine yeah like if it like or if it's something like specifically that's like calling for the like glassing of gaza that shit's yeah it's completely untenable it's completely unacceptable right i don't have a problem with that whatsoever not at all i do have a problem with taking down posters of people who were kidnapped by Hamas. That shit's crazy to me. That shit's like actually crazy. Especially when people are justifying the actions of Hamas. It, it, it just boggles my mind. Whatsoever. I'm not going to speak my position on whether they do. I don't know them. But what I do know is that the people in question were in Lebanon during, uh, was it 2006? The invasion, they, uh, their place around them was bombed when they were children. The house next to them was six women. Uh oh, inside. res joined. Oh, These were anti civilian bombings by the IDF. Um, okay, that's one example. Why on earth couldn't they make simply... the statement that if a bunch of like, you guys uh, people went to a. Why on earth? Hang on, I'm asking, I'm asking with the question. So hmm. why, oh, why on earth would you need, why on earth would you need to be anti Semitic uh, in order to take those down? Like, they have, uh, as uh, I think in your. Because they kidnapped them because they are Jews. They kidnapped them because they are Jews. And so if you're taking down posters, spreading awareness, even if everyone's already aware, even if you feel like everyone's already aware of people who were kidnapped because they were Jews, it really comes off as anti-Semitic and could really, really make like for all of the um, all of the arguments that people have made for, oh, well, we should we should restrict freedom of speech um, to make sure that vulnerable uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, vulnerable uh, minorities feel safe in society. Do you think that maybe the average Jewish person might feel a little bit worried when they see people who were targeted because they were Jewish? <laughs> targeted because they were Jewish, right? Um, being taken down, not even in a country that that these things are like ultra, ultra, like relevant to everyday life right like i wouldn't be surprised to see that shit in you know palestine i wouldn't be surprised to see that shit in jordan in uh lebanon right that wouldn't be surprising to me at all but you know what is surprising seeing that shit happen in oh shit i thought my stream went down seeing that shit happen in the United States, seeing that shit happen in england seeing that shit happen in a western country right where you know it's not so close to us. It's not affecting our everyday lives. And these people didn't do anything wrong. They are literal civilians. One second, let me kill this. Come here, come here. Come on, die, die, die. So I can finish my, finish my shit. Dead. Okay. Would you consider the idea of using the German girl in their advertising as exploitative? I'm agnostic, just curious about your perspective. Um, it depends. It it that one right there purely depends on how it's being used. It that that is contextual. 
I don't think inherently it is, but it would it would depend on what they're actually using, like how they're set using it, you know? Panel, what Max pointed out. These are uh, missing persons posters in a, on a different continent from where these people are being held hostage. The place where they're being held hostage is being actively bombed by, by Israel. And while they're being actively bombed, months after 10-8, um, like if the if the IDF said like put that poster up and said um, the Arabs are coming for you join the IDF okay that's pretty gross right <laughs> that's pretty gross but if it's just like um, images like this are why we're going into if like the message of the poster is uh, images like this are why we're going into Gaza then. Yeah, I mean, not only is that factually true, and even if it's propaganda, right, not all propaganda is inherently, like, you know, just lies, right? Some, it, maybe it's slanted in one direction, but it's not necessarily lies. Then, yeah, it, it's just, it, it's all about the, the context of how they're using. These, these posters serve no actual function except to justify the ongoing bombing. See, this is, this is... Or to raise awareness or to show the faces of victims of actual terrorism who are uh, possibly still alive in captivity f with a terrorist group. Yeah. Sorry, Sunday. Yeah. Like, I, I actually think that Sunday really perfectly f rides this line of justifying all of the actions of Hamas while... While, you know, ostensibly, you know, condemning the actions of terrorism, right? But justifying basically everything that they do, right? Not, uh, like, making making it unjustifiable for any response, whether it's even just, like, showing the faces of victims from Israel's side or from pro-Israel people, right? It feels like even, even peaceful, um, even peaceful responses like hey look at these people who were kidnapped by a terrorist organization are unjustifiable because everything that israel does whether it is peaceful or non-peaceful is there to justify the ethnic cleansing of um palestinians that's just so cringe palestine okay. protests in america when it's happening way over there i wasn't asking you same shit yeah you wouldn't you ran away from me last time you loser hey, hey stick on the topic. okay if i may answer the answer the question it's the same reason right we have again news footage of what's happening in gaza and palestine and people tweet about it and bring awareness of it because these people are still being held hostage by Hamas. Sure, but there's this a thing there's a thing, thing there's a thing, thing that's happening and yeah, well sure, no but... if i may finish in answering your question sir right well no i can't call 911 and report to the police officer because i found one of these kids what this does is that humanizes it humanizes the victims it lets people build awareness of where the, these where the victims are, are being held is being missing, bombed sir right they're still missing wait what did you just say where the victims are being having they've, they've what, what action what action hostages. they have what action is going what action is going to be triggered by is that humanizes it humanizes the victims it lets people build awareness of where these the, where the are victims are being held is being missing, bombed sir right they're still missing what the f are the words that he's saying let me slow it down of where the, where the victims are, are being held is being missing, bombed, sir. Right? They're still missing. I have no clue what he's saying. Can anybody translate what the f he's saying right there? Where the victims are being held is what? Build awareness of where the, where the victims are, are being held is being missing, bombed, sir. Right? They're still missing. And it where the victims are being where is being bombed. Having, Thank you. They've what what they've action? What action? Hostages. They have. What action is going? Wait. What action is going to be triggered by these posters? Wait. Oh, what 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 action is going to be triggered by all these people showing images of the the horrible shit happening to Gaza? It's spreading awareness. You don't get to show all your victims. And expect that the other side, uh, like, is completely, un or just say that, like, the other side is completely unjustified in showing their victims. Because those people are victims. Those people are victims. They were living their everyday f lives. They weren't in the f West Bank gunning down f Palestinians all the time, which you would have a much stronger case, even though, like, it would be highly contextual whether or not the settlers were actively doing something right then that would justify Palestinians killing them, right? But the people in, in Israel proper, even inside of the, I believe, even inside of the borders of the 1948 partition plan, right? Uh oh. Like, th those people did nothing wrong 
He places where the victims are is being bombed. That's what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just couldn't. I I couldn't understand him. In a different country. Qu question. Real quick uh, question. Who is holding the hostages? Hamas. Okay. Who is Israel at war with? On like the best notions, right? Hamas. Yeah. So that's probably well, why. Yeah, that's a little bit trickier, actually. Ostensibly, ostensibly, it's Hamas. But well, yeah, but like if we're talking about the actual countries. declaration of war that they made, they declared war on Hamas. They didn't declare war on you know the the uh, whatever whoever's running the West Bank. They didn't declare war on Gaza. They declared war on Hamas. And so yeah, the hostages are being held by Hamas. But they're bombing Gazan civilian centers pretty indiscriminately, and there have been plans released that they want to clear out the entire zone. So, okay. I haven't seen those plans. Could you uh, provide no, them? No, he's talking about there There was a leaked actually. document with three I, No, I actually just don't know about it. I'm just very okay. interested. I'm just letting you know there's a leaked document, right, um, from their planning meetings or their high-ups. It's a high-up thing. There are three options presented. One of them is clearing out the zones, yes. Did they choose that plan? Is that like the preferred one? Also, I heard this a lot recently here. Hamas is actually responsible for war crime when they hide civilian buildings and hospitals. If Israel fires back, it's not a war crime. That's true the a lot of the things that people are calling war crimes are actually not actually war crimes um they're just things that israel did that are mean and let's let me like be clear they are very mean they're very very bad but it's not like they're unjustifiable right whereas actions from hamas are unjustifiable actual like literal just war crimes but most of if not uh with the exception of like very few exceptions that can be like absolutely proven in this conflict right here um my understanding is all of their targets have been justified they have shown like hey they got missiles in this building we're gonna blow up the building all right hey you know this i think that there's one strike that is probably not justifiable whatsoever um which would be the um the strike on the refugee camp in southern gaza Right. But um, for the most part, again, for the most part, damn, I'm not getting any of the cards I want. I'm just myself over trying to skip for it. Yeah. Like uh, outside of that one, I don't think there's been a specific instance that people can point towards that Israel has specifically targeted something that did not have military um, military value. Whereas the 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 one in the southern, like they were striking one um, high up Hamas guy, right? But like when you gauge that military advantage versus the military or the like civilian casualties on that one, like there is no justification because it's not like they were launching missiles from that area. They were doing what? They were attacking like a specific individual, which. For the most part, I don't think that the arguments that we should just be sending special ops in, spec ops, right, to take out the uh, little militarized um, rooms in giant uh, civilian buildings, right? Because it's not like Call of Duty, right, where you're, you know, you're zip lined down into the middle of a hostile area and then you can just, you know, zip line out. That is just not the case, right? They're going to, they're going to see slash hear the helicopter right that drops you off they're going to uh, they're they're going to shoot at you right and then extraction is going to be impossible it's just not like it is in call of duty unfortunately if if it if that was the case that would be based as they could just send in you know spec ops units after spec op unit right they're gonna have a bunch of casualties in those spec op units but they're not going to like they could just like call of duty it right like oh precision strikes with with you know seal team six just not it, it's not the same in gaza you know um israel is a nation hamas is a terror group big distinction yes and a terror group that explicitly and knowingly uses um human human shields and openly uses human shields one because i know that they brought i don't i don't the, uh, we i know that they ended up it, going it wasn't ahead. I mean, as far as we're concerned the, the ground invasion started weeks ago yeah, I mean, there was been there have been incursions since ten eight, regardless that have been on the ground. So, like, yeah, if you want to call that the ground invasion, then that's fair too, I guess. I okay. Uh... This is what we're gonna do.
Okay. I think that also, if there's going to be a whole, I, I, again, I don't know what the best option is like going forward. There is no option that is not military. Um, Hamas has seen to that with the scale of the attack, the type of attack that they did. There is no option that is non-military. Um, so all we can try and do is try and tactician out what the best military response would be in the Gaza Strip, right? And it's not going to be just wholesale, just only missile strikes, because everyone's going to be pissed off at that. People say, like, well, if you put boots on the ground there, then um, that's just like an invasion, then that's unjustifiable. Okay, well, if you can't do missile strikes, you can't do, you know, boots on the ground, then what can you do, right? And that's like the, the big thing. The best thing that I've heard so far is one guy um, said that the U.S. has been advising Israel on um, doing, you know, um, I don't know what the uh, maneuver is called or what the military tactical, whatever the, you know, name of it is, but it's essentially like um, big incursion, big incursion, and then pull out after you achieve, achieve one objective. And then you do another big incursion to achieve one objective and then you pull everyone out and it seems like that's probably the the best of both worlds um that you could hope for but we're we're talking you know <laughs> we're talking you know degrees of bad and the the degrees of bad can vary uh a lot this is what we're gonna do okay uh, they couldn't even confirm know, if they got the commander um, Ugh. Between Resi, Samantha, Food Shops, Beckett, um, Sunday, I already know your position. You made that kind of clear already. Um, what I need to do just one at a time. Damn it. Do you it's think hot up here. that people that take down um, posters of the, uh, the captives, of the hostages, people that take down these posters, is it necessarily, inherently, anti Semitic? We'll start with. Uh, Resi. Uh, yeah, so I don't want to say that's inherently anti-Semitic. Uh, I do want to say that it shows a but lack of humanity and that I don't, not only do I not respect those people, uh, I don't actually view them as humans. Uh, I think that if you're going to go ahead and... Oh, God! Resi is so based what he wants to be. Holy shit, I miss Rez so much. Holy shit. He's like the leftiest, like, lovey, you know, peace-loving, uh, you know, everyone should get along, lovey dovey dude in the entire world. But when he decides to go hard, I don't even see them as human. God, I love Rezzy so f much. Measure your joy and your actions through the displeasure of others. You are a shit person. Uh, I don't care if you're an anti Semite or not. I don't really want to share an earth with you, regardless. Back in. So, um, wait, I'm I, sorry, I what was the last part of that? I was reading chat. I semite or not, I don't really want to share an earth with you, regardless. Back it. That's so base. So, um, I, I don't think it's necessarily anti Semitic. Um, I think that there can be multiple reasons behind it in the same way that putting the posters up isn't necessarily propaganda. I think it's very fair to say that it probably is, but individuals could have other reasons. I'd say that, because I've been saying that the left has a racism and anti-Semitism problem for a very long time. I don't think it's an overt thing. I don't think I'd even label it as the pro-Palestinian uh, movement itself. I think there is a wider problem there that I've ended up talking about tonight and a couple of times of, it's not the overt thing of the Jews are evil and doing terrible things that need to be eradicated. It's the way, um, particularly in England, and I'm aware this might be an English take, the Jewish Ooh. community gets coupled in with basically being white and rich and then basically disregarded for any of the historical context or anything else, which I see as basically a quiet form of anti-Semitism. I'm not quite sure what else to call it. And I think I would take the position that you can be racist without necessarily being overtly like black people are. Yeah, let me be clear. For all the people that are ultra um pro palestinian ultra pro zionist in my or pro israeli in my chat like uh, you're both going to hate this take uh after israel goes in and donkey stomps the f out of hamas israel has to help rebuild gaza they have to they have to they're probably unfortunately 
I I don't see a world where a structured, planned, you know, with a with an end date in mind. Okay, uh, I I don't see a future where a uh, structured, planned, end dated um, occupation happens. Right, I don't see a world where like that's avoided. Right. And in addition to that um, occupation, they're probably, unfortunately, going to have to, um, uh, you know, oh, I'm sorry, not unfortunately, this is the fortunate thing, um, they're going to have to rebuild Gaza, right, at, at, you know, partly their expense, because it's not just because, oh, well, we did bad things, it's for you know, their own optics. It's for their own good. It is something that they need to do for themselves to not only have a better, you know, optical thing on the world stage, but also so that they can, you know, try to de-radicalize some of the people that are in Gaza, right? De-radicalize them and not have to deal with them like the second that they um, pull out, right? They're probably going to have to install... Uh, and strengthen the Palestinian Authority, right? And work with them. Is there a war somewhere? Sure is. We can't avoid it. There's no talking about anything except for Israel-Palestine from now on. Dank Brandon. That's the biggest criticism of Israel by leaders that they don't have an after plan. Yeah. Um, the problem is, like, and I can sympathize with with the leaders on this, right? It's not like they have much. Wait, did I choose the tower? Am I an idiot? God damn it. I should have just skipped. Um, like the, I, I sympathize with the leaders that there had to be immediate action taken because there are hostages, right? There, there is no negotiation with Hamas because you see what we've seen historically, what they do when they get, um, you know, you know, just like any concession out of Israel, right? With no negotiations, they take all the credit and then they get more support, right? So. We can't allow that to happen. We can't allow um, we we can't allow the hostages to just be held there indefinitely. So there has to be some kind of action taken immediately. Um, so you have to come up with a plan that is going to be ultra complex, ultra difficult, um, both politically and you know um, logistically. I, I I can sympathize with that to a great deal. Um. Hold on. Do I have the? I do. Um, but you you have to have it, and you have some of the best political minds in the entire world at your disposal helping you, uh, with all of the Western world basically backing Israel one hundred percent. Support for Hamas has really hurt support for Palestine in general in my country. So called normies just can't see support for terrorism, and that kind of governing isn't seen as a solution for Palestine. Yeah, I know. Um, like the like normies that I've seen. Uh, who probably would be way more lefty um, have been very, very uh, weirded out by how many people they've seen um, talking about Hamas, right? And praising Hamas. Like they, like this is, these are actual normies like at work and stuff that who I really try to avoid talking about politics with my coworkers because most people my age, especially in the kind of jobs that I work are going to be very, very, very left-leaning, right? Very left-leaning young people. But like even those very left-leaning young people are a little bit weirded out by how how strong the support for Hamas has been online, right? So like this is having an effect on, you know, you know, Palestinians. Lefties are hurting Palestinians more than they are helping, in my humble opinion. Evil and dumb or whatever, you can still take racist actions. And I'd say <clears> it's that kind of thing that I have an issue with. I just would like it more challenged because I think it's something that should be highlighted because it needs improvement, not because I'm trying to condemn anyone. Sorry, that was long-winded. but it's Yeah, yeah do you think the posters are uh, wait, tearing wait, down wait, the posters of Santa Not yet, not yet, not yet. Samantha, go. Wait, the, so he I answered that. He said not uh, necessarily. A lack of consistency. Like, uh, yes, I think the action of taking the posters down are anti-Semitic. Maybe not the people necessarily, because they might be coming at it from an emotional reaction. But I, I can guarantee that if uh, um, pro-Palestinian people or whatnot or leftists or whatever were putting up posters of kidnapped Palestinians um, by Israel, yep. people started ripping them down. They True. would be labeled as Islamophobic or xenophobic or some shit. Uh,
That's so true. One sec. What is this link right here? Eventually, <clears throat> the Arab states will rise against Israel. They don't like Palestinians, but they hate the Jews more. It won't be like 1967. The rest. Oh, one second. I have a. I have an even shorter clip. Twitter. Oh, it's, it's slash, easy gamer GG. Middle East multicultural battle zone. Violence reigned the Gaza scrap today as fighting broke out between the one remaining Palestinian and the one remaining Israeli. The struggle over the Gaza scrap, which began long before the burn down, has stolen the lives of more than 99% of the region's inhabitants. Here is what the news satellite showed us this morning. The violence began when the Israeli army Lev Rosen entered the Gaza Scrap and began building a permashed on the disputed land. The Israeli was forced back over the border after suffering a sprained ankle and a bleeding nose at the hands of the Palestinian army Amjad Olrud. Even after the retreat, the Palestinian bombarded Israel with rocks and empty fire ray cartridges for near two hours. One Israeli soldier was injured in today's fight. Hot young news out of the Middle East multicultural battle zone. Violence and I just loved the Gaza uh, if you pause it. broke out between the one remaining Palestinian and the one remaining Israeli. Literacy quasi. <laughs> Literacy full up. Scars leg huge. Chest bullet. Chews guarana root. Cat bone. Trade is as a machinist and a soldier. <laughs> choose metallic rings and his trade is a remover the struggle over the gaza scrap which began long before the burn down I think it, has stolen skills shouting machining full fist making fears ants howler ants and his blood density is serious dude serious this guy's blood density is only reasonable and he fears grim women Okay, we'll watch, we'll watch Gas's thing, okay? The Arab states will rise against Israel. They don't like Palestinians, but they hate the Jews more. It won't be like 1967. The rest of the world will see by then what the Israelis do to us. They won't help when Egypt and Syria attack. Even Jordan. Israel will cease to exist. What? This is a dream. You Good song playing. A country you never had. You sound like a Jew. You. I'm the voice inside your head telling you what you already know. You people have nothing to bargain with. You'll never get the land back. You'll all die old men in refugee camps waiting for Palestine. We have a lot of children. They'll have children, so we can wait forever. And if we need to, we can make the whole planet unsafe for Jews. You kill Jews, and the world feels bad for them and thinks you're animals. Yes, but then the world will see how they've made us into animals. They'll start to ask questions about the conditions in our cages. You are Arabs. There are lots of places for Arabs. You're a Jew sympathizer. All you Germans, you're too soft on Israel. Well, you give us money, but you feel guilty about Hitler. And the Jews exploit that kid. My father didn't gas any Jews. Tell me something, Ali. What? Do you really miss your father's olive trees? Do you honestly think you have to get back all that, that nothing, that chalky soil and stone hearts? Is that what you really want for your children? It absolutely is. It will take a hundred years, but we'll win. How long did it take the Jews to get their own country? How long did it take the Germans to make Germany? And look how well that worked out. You don't know what it is not to have a home. That's why you European Reds don't get it. You say it's nothing, but you have a home to come back to. ETA, ANC, IRA, we all pretend we care about your international revolution, but we don't care. We want to be nations. Home is everything. Hmm. I might have to watch that movie. All right, back to what we were actually watching. Um, if I can find it. There we are. Uh, so I think the lack of consistency between having empathy for innocent Palestinians getting hurt and innocent Israelis getting uh, kidnapped and hurt is just abhorrent. Um, there is no consistency. They only care about one side for uh, who knows what reason. I think uh, maybe it just might be anti-Semitism. Who knows? It's a mystery. We may never know. Well, it might, right? be, it might be one is vested with the power of the state. Not your turn, Is there one more? Yeah, food shops, yeah. Oh, sorry, food shops. Enough virtue signaling. If they're an eyesore and they annoy me, I will tear them down myself, okay? All right? If they bore me and if they're annoying, I will tear them down myself, okay? I will not plaster my rhetoric with the soy cherry on top language, okay? I don't care if you view me as human or not, okay? I will tear them down myself and I will tell you right now, it is not anti-Semitic to do so. If I'm a janitor, it, it is my literal job description to... 
the okay food shops if you're watching right now if you're done with your dumb fucking shower this is the most retarded response you could have it, these people are not janitors walking by ripping down posters all right these are college students pro-palestine people arabs whatever the f right that's who is ripping down the posters not janitors let me let me go back to the beginning of what she's saying what the f if you view me as human or not okay i will tear them down myself and i will tell you right now it is not anti-semitic to do so if i'm a janitor it, it is my literal job description to tear down these posters because i need to clean the poles and somebody put them up without a permission or whatever the f okay I if will that's do the so case that's different that's no one would disagree hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. free shops do you have a real position yeah it's not anti-semitic all okay. right because you don't know what the f intention is you can't just assume that Okay, if they were janitors, I'm, I don't, like, if a janitor was doing it or someone, like, invested with the power, like, a, a cop, we see pictures of cops doing this in Britain, right? Like, there's been video shared of that. I don't think they're anti-Semitic. I think they're just doing their job. They were told to do that. That's fine. That's not who I'm talking about uh, here. Uh, I'm talking uh, about the... No, 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 hold on. You know who else is told to do their jobs? No, no, hold on. Hold on. Shut the up. Hold on. The actions of the British police in the way that they have dealt with different uh, protests within Britain has elements of anti-Semitism. The British police are on record as worrying about like how they interact with Muslim communities and directly not just not being a racist, but not appearing to be racist. But those are absolutely actions they take. Anti-Semites famous community. for not wanting to appear racist. And, um, like, I think I think just, just to speak very quickly to the point that Samantha was making about the inconsistency, I think there is a warranted inconsistency in a specific way in that one party has the power of a state that is armed it's it's warranted to be inconsistent with your values <laughs> jesus christ dude and protected by the united states whereas the other one has <clears throat> the opposite situation and power so of the when state you're talking by her when you're, no, you're talking right. about when I you're know, talking I, about i agree when, with this already wait what does this have to do with the posters no, so, no no hold on hold on let president something go but yeah, I, I, so, I think i agree with where it's going but yeah so, so when that, you're talking about the taking down the posters in this particular case and once again i don't know these people's motives i just know a little bit about the history when you're talking about taking down these posters in this case where there's an active bombing by one uh state against the other there's a different quality to that act yeah there's not a state than taking down posters of children held by a side that you're arming right so i think i think that's a key distinction there i think i, I don't i don't know if i would necessarily endorse either um, but the one seems to be substantially worse so, than the other one. So Sunday, my problem with that is we have a big, we have a big push for educating people to separate Hamas from regular Palestinian people, right? So these posters aren't of like Bibi Netanyahu, right? These posters aren't of True. like the Israeli government. True. So we're still hard to push separation of like, hey, um, Hamas is the bad guys. Like we need to minimize harm and rhetoric and stuff against Palestinians. We should be consistent. Be like, yes, we can criticize the Israeli government for being shit, but these people in the posters aren't these people. Oh, I agree with you innocent, 100%. Yeah, no, so that's where I'm saying my inconsistency is, is we're supposed to have empathy for innocent Palestinians. And even though we're not arming Palestine or whatever, we're letting people have these pro-Palestinian marches, pro-Hamas marches, we have their Taliban flags. We have not in France Hamas anymore. ISIS flags, jerk each other off, we yell and kill the Jews, gas the Jews. Uh, even in my city, it's happening. Um, but we can't have the same level of empathy and support. Okay, but, but stick to this. Wait, 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 Sunday, hold on, hold on. That are innocent Israelis, not affiliated with the government, not no, no, the government, saying, not no, But stick with the, yeah. stick, stick oh, with the posters I, I, need, for a I need to clarify something here, because uh, we're, we're not talking about, one, whether or not it's a good idea to take down the posters. We're not talking about whether or not it's a... It's, I'm it's talking about my inconsistency for thing. empathy yeah, being yeah, yeah, like, sure, sure, why I'm calling the action anti-Semitic. Sure, but if we're, if we're bringing up like a, any... If we start going down the route of saying like, well, it would be hypocritical if you saw the opposite side, you would you would feel how they feel now. Going through the optics of this is not part of the discussion. We're talking well, I think, about I think the optics matter. matter a little bit because we're the talking about propaganda, yeah. so they have an optical yeah. dimension to it. I just hate annoying just... people, and I hate uh, annoying sorry, posters, guys, okay? Guys, I'm going to... I'll wrap it very quickly. I feel for you, Kate. I feel for you. Hang on. Kate, you're being you're being cut out by the other people, just so you know. we can't. Yeah, I know. I will start muting, okay? Who's the who's the moderator now? Okay? But I really want to focus on whether or not the intentions of the people that are taking down these posters are anti-Semitic, okay? That's what we're going to focus on. You have to look at case by case. I just want to respond very quickly. But I was about to respond to what Samantha just said to me. Yeah, I just said I pass it off to Sunday. You can go after Sunday. Thank you. So in this particular case, talk. Hold on, gotta address something really quick. This Derek Stevens guy has been commenting on all of my videos. My wife's son is gay, and now he's in chat. And I want to say he is my favorite commenter of all time. He is my favorite commenter of all time, bar none. I don't care what epic meme you've ever posted in a comment on one of my youtube videos how how much you've glazed me how much you've sucked me off in the comments i don't care this guy derek stevens my wife's son is gay funniest shit i've ever seen in my life it is so consistent it's so 
funny to me. All right, let's keep going. Talking about like empathy for the subjects of the posters. Um, the key difference in this case would be that the posters in question are not going to do good for the people there. However, people being held by the Israeli state, this is drawing attention to something that would be um, uh, otherwise skirted under the rug while they are aggressing on Gazans in particular. So that would that would be the, the key distinction there, is that the one is actually helping the people who are taken, because it's raising awareness about people about people who's taken he has trauma. returns whereas in the other case he must um, inform us about a situation that is already the pretext for the bombing of gaza in the first place or one of the pretexts our intent isn't to like harm the people of gaza the innocent people our intent is to go after hamas so like if we're going to bring the intent thing, yeah but if we're using going after hamas as so a if you're going to say that, gaza, if you're gonna say that intent doesn't matter and like these people are being harmed regardless I didn't say that. then you have to if, no but again, I'm, as I'm I, saying as I told if that is if that is the thing right then the intent behind pulling down the posters doesn't matter the action itself is what's anti-semitic as, as i told as i told kid not kin well, whether they think Okay, I just want everyone to know, I told Food Shops to come on to talk about her retarded statement about the, <laughs> her retarded statement about the, uh, um, uh, the posters. And she says, oh yeah, no, obviously that's retarded. All right. So we can all give uh, Food Shops a pass for being absolutely retarded on the panel. We can, we can all, we all see it. She has admitted it. There is no defense for how retarded it was it was just retarded and she acknowledges that all right we can keep going they're being anti-semitic my father's gay oh even more base chris because what you were willing to do is stop the humanization of israeli victims they uh, require in a order to humanize to... Yeah, but the intent matters Wait, 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 no, wait, but wait, your wait, humanness wait, is not conditioned wait, 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 on being kidnapped, Wick. That's a silly wait. thing to say, as if they require the posters to be humanized. They, they then absolutely one, one do. Could the, one could make the argument that what? you know George Floyd doesn't need a square to be humanized for like the black movement in uh, in the United States. Like this is where this shit. Like if we apply the same line of logic to the the, the black struggle in America, I, mean, I don't think he does need a square to be humanized. I don't think naming giving him a square human. No, but if you were to say to a, take down George Floyd's square, it doesn't need to be there to, for him to be humanized. You'd be called racist. No, I wouldn't. Be, George Floyd doesn't need a square to be humanized. You you would be called a silly proposition in America. You are you are disingenuous right here. What? Yes, if the if if a, a couple weeks, if, if if a month after George Ford died, you had people going around covering up, ripping off, uh, like whitewashing days the afterwards. Of Let's Ford, not say months. That would be seen by almost everyone as racist, and it would be inherently no. a racist thing I disagree to do. With that. Well, Absolutely. I disagree with that. No, I disagree with that. Because what, you are could, you guys? No, no, you no, no, that, no, no, that's no, no. I disagree You're with that. Hard no, right I'm really coping hard, and I totally that. disagree with you. Okay, Kat's gonna derail this uh, segment. We're gonna skip forward to this other timestamp she wants us to watch. See, this is the fucking problem, right? Like, uh, Food Shops only has mean positions. Food Shops doesn't no. actually have any positions. Food Shops, awesome. food shops, she does, just, she food does. shops just, Come food on. Food Shops just want screen time. That's hey, it's not, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of gay dad action, Chris Collins, all right? There's nothing wrong with a little bit of gay dad action. If your dad is gay, that's is fine. I know a couple of people whose dads were gay. Kind of sucks. Asked Sunday if he would be fine with defacing the George Floyd mural. Yeah, exactly. Or like the um, the the rainbow flag uh, crosswalk that everyone talks about uh, that got defaced by someone burning out over it. Like people wouldn't be okay with that. It is purely it is is purely just like uh, one of the huge issues that I have with talking about this with basically anyone. Right? Like I'm fine with talking to people who are like extremists on either side because I'll fight them on like their extremism right if you want to actually glass gaza if you actually want to you know say that hamas is are just freedom fighters and their actions are justified then like yeah i'll fight you on that but like the people i don't want to fight are the people that are going to say that like because those people are at least open that they are completely um looking at this from one side but the disingenuous like both sizing right that shit's annoying. That shit's dog shit. All right. I hate the disingenuous both sizing shit that goes on. Um, if you're going to say like, yeah, obviously terrorism is bad, LOL. Um, but also we should uh, have a difference in our uh, principles on ripping down posters of people who were killed by Israelis uh, and uh, people who were killed or killed unjustly by Israelis and people who are killed unjustly by Hamas. If, if like that's your inconsistency, you're, you're hiding your real take, which is Hamas can literally do anything to the state of Israel and its civilians, and Israel can do nothing in response, even, even raise awareness of people who are still in captivity by a literal terrorist group.
That is, that is what your position is, and you don't want to say it. And that's, it is so gross. It is so disgusting to me.